Well, it's now been two months since the Franklin Police Department mourned the unexpected loss of one of their officers, Jeff Carson. He had a heart attack and passed away at the age of 58. But thankfully, the story does not end there. Our Chris Davis has followed this since Carson's death in late March. And Chris, his family recently got a very nice surprise, a big one. A big one, and it really is special, Rory. Thanks to a nonprofit that helps families of first responders and military service members, the Carson family is dealing with this unexpected tragedy with an equally unexpected surprise. In every home, there are pieces and pictures that remind us of the ones we love. We will have been married 35 years in December, so that's a long time. But for Kim Carson, we just, um, it's the man she's missing. Take each day one day at a time. And that's just what I had to do. That has left this house and her heart empty. Cry most every day. Some days I just have a screaming fit, <laughs> but um, some days are just harder than others. Her husband, Franklin police officer and country music singer Jeff Carson, passed away unexpectedly from a heart attack. But perhaps just as surprising was the massive turnout both inside and outside of Brentwood Baptist on the day of his funeral. I couldn't believe it. I, I just couldn't believe the people. People were out of their cars and, you know, just it, it was just, it was really just something. Escorting Kim and their son Dayton on Jeff's final journey was his beloved Chevy Chevelle that fittingly still sits inside the family's garage. I would always say to him, well, I don't know why you need windshield wipers because you're not ever going to get it out and get it dirty. He kept it so clean and it's, it is spotless. But Kim wasn't sure whether the car and the rest of their belongings would stay in this house forever until they got an invite to a special concert. We truly thought we were just invited. Kim and Dayton, come on out. Inside the Wild Horse Saloon, a venue Jeff had played many times, came the biggest showstopper of Kim's life. And I could kind of hear the crowd start to kind of, ooh. But tonight, I want to let you know that the Tunnel to Towers has made a commitment and a promise to you that we are going to pay off your mortgage. You're never going to have to worry about your mortgage again. The Tunnels to Tower Foundation pays off mortgages for survivors of first responders and military personnel, and now Kim is one of them. And I just couldn't believe it. It was unbelievable. We are most grateful. And while this house that Kim and Jeff shared may never feel the same. The outpouring love is just surrounding us. It's it's just been something, it, it, it's helpful. She'll never have to part with the reminders that their love will never end. I can't imagine anything any more special than what they've done. Now, Rory, the Carsons learned that they'd be living mortgage free at that concert, right. and you can see it in full tomorrow night right here on News Channel 5 at 8 o'clock. Yeah, I can't wait for that. And we're going to give the Carsons a pass if they're not watching it. If they have to DVR it, they have other plans, right? Pretty big plans. Yeah. Dayton, the son, is graduating from Nolensville High School. He's going to go on to MTSU in the fall. And of course, big congratulations to him. Absolutely. We wish him and his mom all the best. Thanks, Chris. Absolutely.